Hi guys, welcome to the baking bench. Today we are going to make Nutella bobs. Once you taste these super tasty buns, you will agree with the name why I am calling these Nutella bobs. So guys, these are super tasty, very delicious Nutella stuffed sweet buns and these are particularly made for kids your kids will love these and you can pack these to uh, their tiffins um, uh, not only your kids but your friends will be super happy <coughs> you can just enjoy virtually so for this we have to freeze nutella in some uh, small portions scoop out the small portions with the help of the spoon and freeze them till these become solid so here our nutella's uh, portions are ready for stuffing once these are frozen keep them in the fridge till we stuff these in the dough so now let's come to the rest of the ingredients so this is all-purpose flour instant dry yeast powdered sugar milk powder salt vanilla extract and milk and water mixture and butter you can go to the description box for the details and measurement of the ingredients so here uh, in 250 grams of all-purpose flour i have added half teaspoon yeast two tablespoon sugar two tablespoon milk powder now mix everything well now once the yeast is well mixed in the flour add salt never add yeast and salt together because salt kills the yeast once all the dry ingredients are mixed now add milk and water mixture here for 250 grams of uh, flour i have i am using 150 ml of water and milk mixture half and half 75 ml of milk and 75 ml of water now mix everything well no flour should be visible after mixing with the spatula then start mixing it with your hand so that you can come to know the texture of the dough once everything is well mixed we will keep the dough for 20 to 30 minutes for rest period this is called autolyzing we autolyze the dough so that it may absorb all the water and the gluten develops. Now after half an hour, we will be kneading the dough. Now add the butter, incorporate all the butter to the dough and start kneading it. So guys, please like and subscribe my channel for these easy and tasty recipes. Now let us transfer this dough on the counter and start kneading it. We will be kneading the dough with the stretching and folding method. So guys, these type, uh, type of stuff is available on the costly bakeries. You cannot get this stuff uh, on any regular or local bakery. So you can make this boutique style stuff by learning this from the baking bench. And make your kids and your family happy. Even your kids' friends will love this stuff. Uh, stuff. 
you can pack this to uh, their tiffins and you can make these type of stuff for uh, uh, their uh, birthday part parties because you can make these in advance like you can ba bake these uh, uh, nutella stuff bombs like one day before here you can see the gluten strands Once you knead the dough for 8 to 9 minutes, you will observe there is a change in texture of the dough. It will become super soft, super shiny, pliable. Knead it by stretching and folding many times. So you can make these boutique style baking stuff or baking articles with all the basic ingredients available in your kitchen. Because our kids love Nutella so we always keep a bottle of Nutella at our place. All purpose flour or maida is always with us. Okay, So you can easily make these Nutella stuffed buns and make our kids happy at the same time uh, this is pocket friendly because we are making these at home with the basic ingredients so our dough is almost ready now place this dough in a greased bowl in a warm place till it becomes double in volume Cling wrap it and keep it in a warm place. So we will be wait, waiting till it becomes double in volume. So once the dough becomes double in volume, we will punch the dough and deflate all the gases. And we will be kneading it with light hands for a minute punching the dough is so so entertaining you enjoy when you punch the dough the feeling is like it's the dough is so soft so uh, now let us divide the dough into equal portions now here you can eyeball the dough when you divide it or you can use a weighing scale roll it into a log so that you can easily divide the dough into equal portions so uh, now i have divided the dough into equal portions now let us make the plain balls for every portion and keep these ready the plain side is always up and the seam side is always down now repeat the process for every single portion make the balls at the same time keep a tray which is ready lined with parchment paper So now let us take out the Nutella from the fridge and stuff a small portion in the dough ball by spreading it on your hand. Now let us again seal it from the bottom and here our dough ball is ready. Make sure that the bottom is sealed properly otherwise the Nutella will come out when you bake it. Now place every single ball by stuffing it with Nutella on the parchment lined tray and keep these for the second proofing. Now we will be baking these Nutella bombs at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. So here every single ball is ready with the stuffing. Now brush the top with milk so that the top doesn't dry
this is very important step when you bake something apply milk when you shape it after second pro uh, for second proofing at the same time we will be sprinkling some nuts on the top for that extra texture here i'm using finely chopped almonds you can use like uh, uh, cashew or you can use pecan nuts whatever the nuts you have or simply you can use sesame seeds also these give very nice extra flavor uh, to the buns apply some milk on the top too so that our nuts stick to the top now keep these for the second proofing and at the same time preheat your oven at 180 degrees and bake these at 180 degrees for 20 minutes so here the buns are ready when you take out the buns from the oven apply butter on the top very well by applying butter uh, these become shiny and at the same time become soft too and the butter always enhances the taste and now you can enjoy this beautiful treat at your home with the basic ingredients without any extra burden on your pocket make your kids happy thanks for watching the video and please like and subscribe my channel and for details go to the description box and you can ask me anything in the comment section and once these are well brushed with the butter place them on a wire rack thanks for watching the video